Yes, we're back again and it's the most ginger the entertainment show where we break down, analyze, dissect, dismember, articulate and most importantly ensure you get the gist. And we don't stop there, you know this is the house of stars. And who knows, we may be joined by one or maybe two, you never know. With me today are the delectable Eniola and Ife Omai. Okay. What's good? Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You said you'd be joined by stars. I don't understand. What, what, who's sitting here? I don't, I don't Okay, know. star girl. I take it back. I take it back. Okay. But I gave you delectable now. I don't want delectable. Yeah. I want star, please. What's star star girl, please. Uh, what's star that? Star girl. Now, maybe there's one. There's, two. there's already two of them sitting next to you. you. And the person, let me give them hints. The person coming on the set very okay. soon is affiliated to the star boy. And then he'll be sitting right next to the star girl. Mm -hmm. And you know what's going to happen then? We're going to make magic. Come with star and the whiskey girl. they'll see when I come and just spoil everything. I swear. How now? Why do you hate this too much? We never said that. Uh -uh. We never said that. We're just like claiming Davido, please. We never said we don't like whiskey. We don't like whiskey. Whiskey mm -hmm. It's See, toxic. I don't okay. know whiskey, but it's my guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. It's all good. You know how we do it. We have to do the, you know, main, main mm -hmm. reason why we're here. And we're going to be going into the first story of the day, which is on journalist Kiki Modi, who has reacted to accusations that she won an international award with a stolen story. And if you guys remember that story, Sex for Grade, um, mm -hmm. that was aired on BBC. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she won an award from the International mm -hmm. Centre for <coughs> Journalism, ICFJ. And that has been, like, the talk. You know, there's this other person saying, give credit to OO, and initial OO, and we don't know who that person is yet. Mm -hmm. But um, what you guys think on the, mm -hmm. of, of the okay, story? In my opinion, I feel um, this Renault, the journalist that is calling her out, I feel she's being bitter. Because uh, she released this work in 2019, October, yes. Mm -hmm. No one came out that, to say, oh, this story was, um, this is not your original story. Mm -hmm. No, you copied this person. But when she received an award for it, now would you want to come out and say, okay, this story is not our own. Like, come on, be real, girl. Now involved Thank you. Yeah. Why didn't you call her last year that, okay, kick, and the person that she's saying uh, she copied, why didn't the person come out to, like, okay, Kiki took my work. Why is mm. this journalist coming out for the... It's not your work. So I feel she's just being bitter well, and jealous. What do you guys think about... Okay, no, let me okay. get your take on the story no, first. But I, I response, I, what do you think about Kiki's response, though? Mm. <laughs> Good. Yes. <laughs> I knew I was going to get you there. Kiki is an interesting character. Mm. Um, <laughs> we're trying to find a very <laughs> nice way to say this. Okay. Um, I don't want to focus on her, <laughs> on her response because if I do, it looks like I'm I'm on the side of the person bullying because mm. I don't okay. actually like her response. I found it a bit condescending and just unnecessary. Like there's other ways to do it, and it didn't she really. Would have been better if she didn't say what. Yeah, I swear, honestly, it was kind of weird the way she was responding. It was kind of moving like somebody maybe who actually stole work. I don't know. It just okay. didn't make sense. But um, I always wonder when it comes to people like this when they say you stole my song or my song my song sounds like your song my work sounds like your song as a creative i find that conversation very weird mm -hmm. except i outrightly gave you start to finish of what i wanted to do and you copied no start to finish mm -hmm. no idea is original you cannot tell me that sex for grades is some mm -hmm. original unique are you kidding no, we've definitely always like, like are some, you kidding yeah. like, but it's just the oo guy pitched it and mm -hmm. then Kiki i think it's a guy there. Uh, well, we guy, don't know. Yeah, well, no. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a guy. Actually. Okay, said he. Yeah. Okay. So he pitched it. And sorry, we have to correct this. Mr. Easy, the story of Mr. Easy, he didn't promise one percent on his new single. He, didn't, okay. he hasn't reviewed the percentage. That's for both of yeah, you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> I, I, I like this. Yeah, I like this. Star, I told you so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you um, told us so. <laughs> All right. So moving okay. on back to Kiki Modi's story. Mm -hmm. um, what you? Um, I just feel like intellectual property is something that people need to start guarding with their lives to the point where even when your material is stolen right you should be able to Make prove it, yeah. it do you understand yeah. because it's going to be difficult now because i know this story i've read the story from a lot of girls i know mm -hmm. do you understand yeah. so i could have written the story myself as a journalist and, and it what is do. the story it's a doc it's a it's an investigation about you cannot lecturers. you cannot okay. um own the results of an investigation which right. is what the sex for grades, grades. was mm -hmm. it was the revealing of Kiki Modi's investigation. So if you're yeah. going to be holding on to the fact that you are the one that said it first, that some journalists should go and check if people are sleeping mm. um, with their teachers for grades, mm -hmm. like, you don't deserve an award for that. I could have told... <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? Like, mm. I could have told you that it's, it's not rocket science. True. That there's everybody who does it. I mean, we've done... Do you want me to share my own story? We've yeah. done that as well, where we even trapped, um, what's it called, 
teachers before where we're like, ah, oh, this guy wants to collect money, but we're not really sure. And then you kind of trap the guy and then you not tell the guy. Well, it's not nothing. I think we saw a bit of that in citation yeah. as well. True. Yes, True. it's normal. Every uni kid knows that. You They always have that one teacher who's really promiscuous or flirty. Mm -hmm. And everybody yeah, tries to students. see if uh -huh. he would actually do it to them because it's all rumors and things like that. It's not a rocket science. I know the, the OO does not deserve an award for saying Kiki go do investigative journalism in, Os in Osu. Mm. Except maybe there's more to it as in like, okay, this is how you do it. And these are all the resources that I have. And this is what I want to do. And then Kiki goes behind is his that? back to mm -hmm. then use all his resources. But, okay, maybe. The idea, but, 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 you know so is it um, two different body of work? He pitched the idea, she didn't. There's, there's, I think there's another person that did something similar to yeah. it. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be different. When and even right, when you mentioned, uh, sorry, yeah. Fala, no, you cool. go. Um, mm -hmm. Even when you mentioned earlier that you said something in in the line of like she seems like a bitter person, mm -hmm. I think it's true too. And even even though I don't really accept, not accept. I but mean, she gave us a set. Um, what's her name? Kiki gave us a set about how many times she's leading a DM. Exactly. And all of that. Even yeah. Kiki's response is what I wanted to try and say now. Kiki's response also to me revealed a bit of bitterness with this lady mm -hmm. talking about who to hate like, and yeah, yeah, like it's like clear, it's clear personal. Clear, yeah, it's, clear it's clear actually personal. It's not really a business. It's something that you walk okay. <laughs> walk out behind yeah. clothes and don't yeah. drag us into You it. can tell that but Kiki is not the most easiest person to work with. Mm. I mean, I follow her on Twitter and okay. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm her fan when it comes to like feminism, obviously, mm -hmm. and all mm. the work that she does. But when it comes to like personal opinions, even the way she replies to comments sometimes, you can just tell like this baby's a bit saucy or like, but you know, there's fair, a bit of an attitude or whatever. But that doesn't mean that, that look, the reason I'm even bringing that up is because I can see why people would pick, um, um, beef, with it, beef with her yeah. because of the, those type of tendencies. So it's very possible that this is a personal thing. All right, so let, let's just look at it from OO's point of view as well. Okay. We've seen it from True Kiki's eyes, we've seen it through Renna's eyes. Right. So let's talk about um, OO now. Now, let's imagine this is a guy who doesn't have so much connections, you know, mm -hmm. upcoming journalist. He pitched, he pitched an idea. So what's your take on creatives that, you know, don't have the resources to carry and then they just pitch an idea and then someone else who can execute it almost immediately runs along with it what do you guys what do you that think has happened that? too i don't know if you've ever if you're if you're a journalist and you've ever applied for a job and they tell you give us yeah, an yeah, idea yeah, that yeah, happens yeah. that happens you all don't the, get the job but you, you see, see the, the idea yes that mm -hmm. happens that has happened to me many times okay. so what i do is if i know that i don't want the idea to be shared like i, I was working i'm working with a, uh, with another friend right mm. now on like okay. a little podcast and all that and i know that well, well, geez, but I know that he's not going to give me, like, co-founder of the thing. But it was an inception that he wanted to start, and he wanted, him, wanted me to be part of it. So when we started brainstorming, and he told me his idea, I just felt like that idea wasn't going to work. Mm -hmm. And then I told him something, because the conversation was flowing and juices were flowing, I started bringing up another conversation, and he liked it. And then I kind of just stopped myself, like, okay, I've given enough. enough. And then he kept calling me, asking me to, you know, break down that conversation. Mm. And they even told me one time, tell, give me details. details about I this. caught the line. <laughs> the, <laughs> I just took my tissue paper and mm -hmm. I was like, on my, on my phone. Like and I caught the line I because I knew that I wasn't ready. I, I wasn't prepared as to how much information I wanted to give yeah. him. Mm -hmm. If I wanted him to own it. And if I did, I have to then tell you, like, listen, I want to share my idea with you. And I want a piece of... You know, I want more steak. If I'm going to me. exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it enough I want more steak. <laughs> give you like a shout right, out or just no. I wanted to be it. part of it. Like I wanted to okay. sit on the table. If you're going to use my idea, so mm -hmm. I, I didn't say anything. But then well, sometimes you can sell your idea. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like you know what. This is not something that I love enough to hold. And there you go. I'll give you A, B, C, and D, and I don't need accreditation for that. Well, we just saw Kiki and you know our colleagues. They sort things out. And tea time. We'll be right back after the short break. Stay with us. Thank you.